Right, we've got an Audi A4, which is the 1.8 turbo. 05, I believe, the year of this one. So it's come in for various jobs. One of them being the air conditioning. It's not working. So it's been elsewhere. They've tried to fix it. Can't get it to work. Complaint is inside the car, the econ button is on. One go off, illuminates, press it, come back on again, press it, come back on again. No air conditioning, compressor not kicking in, etc. etc. So, obviously, scanned the car to begin with, and we've got this 00819 high pressure sensor, open circuit, short circuit to battery. So, this points towards Google it, whatever, towards this G65 sensor. It's out there everywhere on Google etc so obviously we've had the front bumper off of this vehicle or pulled front end forward into the service position to do the timing belt so the G65 sensor on this particular model is this sensor here which screws into the side of the condenser now it screws on there's a straight valve behind it so changing is not a problem however looking at it straight away you can see it was new obviously thing is it was this one here, not the one that's actually in it now. It was this one here, but you can see it's new, you know. So thinking, okay, so someone's obviously changed, had that code, changed that sensor, you know, Googled it, whatever, and changed it over. Obviously not working. So <coughs> anyway, pulled, obviously, to see if we had any gas in it. So pulled caps off, see if there's any refrigerant nothing at all so system's empty so to be fair if we've got this particular code could mean that we've got no pressure in the system at all so first things first gas it see where we are so gas it up no leaks etc etc still econ button on won't go off illuminated still get this every time you start a car still get this particular code come up so a bit strange obviously we've got a new sensor fitted to it so obviously to begin with started testing the wiring um thinking maybe breaking the wiring somewhere so obviously from here this runs around the back of the radiator and it comes up to this plug here this multi-plug and it runs through here through the wing into the fuse box in the car so everything tested out okay so beginning to wonder what's going on here so obviously unscrewed this you can see it's clearly new not that old at all however as you can see it is unbranded and to be honest it weighs it's a, as light as a fe feather i know these aren't particularly heavy anyway but it just it just feels like it'll float away so i thought well make the decision to obviously get a genuine sensor in there um you know just obviously to just in case sort of thing obviously we've got a problem with this sensor it's brand new which you know when we buy these things if it's unbranded you know this this could be i don't know 15 quid on ebay that's going to be best part of 100 pound from audi however you're chasing your tail fitting stuff like this because this was actually the issue so we fit a genuine sensor immediately the code would clear on the diagnostics and the econ button was stayed off so you know it's a bit of a wild goose chase obviously to do these sort of things and to fit these things because you know you're fitting a sensor that is of completely inferior quality um you know it might pass tests on a bench um but it's not going to pass you know and actually run the air conditioning system properly there's a reason why these are so cheap compared to a genuine sensor I've got no problem with things, you know, cooling and temperature sensors, things like this. When we're talking about high pressure sensors that have got to read ridiculously high pressures and etc. etc., these aren't going to cut it. So, ideally, when you're dealing with things like this, you know, genuine sensors are the way forward. I mean, say in this case, you know, it's a bit of a, a bit of a chase trying to find it because you know you're looking through the bumper, thinking, okay, it's been changed. Someone's obviously changed it. However, they obviously changed it for a cheap and cheerful. I get it, obviously, nowadays, you know, if someone says, oh, it wants a £100 sensor, it might fix it, it might not fix it. You don't know. Um, or you've got the option of going on eBay and getting one for a few quid. I get it. However, you know, with things like this, you really want to go genuine. Um, so, relatively simple fix. Obviously, once we gassed it up, 
so you could the, the code would you know, the code would disappear immediately and the aircon is now working as it should nice and cold so if you do get this usually nine times out of ten and say with this code you're gonna it's gonna be a problem with this sensor but when you change it try and put a genuine sensor in it because if you don't you're gonna end up with problems chasing yourself obviously if we'd have fitted this obviously it's then saying the same thing and then you're into is it the wiring etc etc which we checked to try and find where the problem was um, even though in reality it was just the new sensor that was just well completely useless really so that can go straight in the bin so you know usually if you get that code look for the sensor the high pressure sensor and just get a genuine one and it should solve your problem don't go on ebay or whatever nowadays and get a cheap and cheerful one because that it may look brand new but whatever's inside it is either short circuiting inside it or i don't know it's just this is no good so genuine sensors if you get that code on a4 of this year that's where the sensor is anyway stick a genuine one in it and it should be good to go